Hello everyone and welcome to 20 facts about St. Bernard's. Number 20. They originate from the French Alps. The St. Bernard is a breed with a lengthy and intriguing history, unlike many dog breeds that are officially recognized by the Kennel Club but are actually rather young. They originated as the farm dogs of farmers who lived in the French Alps, and they have a similar history to the Senin Huns. The hospice monk at the Great St. Bernard Pass wrote about and painted these dogs in 1707, leaving the first written description of this breed. Local farmers gave the monks their St. Bernards as a gift. Compared to modern St. Bernards, these canines were smaller. Avalanches killed a large number of St. Bernard dogs. However, after the breed was introduced to the region, the monks attempted to improve them and maintain the breed by mating them with Newfoundlands that they had encountered. Number 19. They are descendants of the molasser type dogs. The St. Bernard is most likely a breed that is a descendant of the molasser type canines from Roman times, according to scientific investigations. It is thought that the St. Bernard's was developed through the crossbreeding of molossoid breeds that the ancient Romans brought to the Alps. This breed is now formally acknowledged as a molossoid breed on a global scale. Even now, this breed still possesses some of the physical and psychological features of its early forebears. Number 18. The St. Bernard's was the first registered breed of the Swiss Stud Club. The St. Bernard's was the first dog breed to be registered by the Swiss Stud Club, one of the St. Bernard's's numerous firsts throughout history. The Swiss St. Bernard's Club was established in Basel in 1884, and the St. Bernard's was the first registered breed to be admitted to the Swiss Stud Club in the same year. However, it wasn't until 1888 that the St. Bernard's was acknowledged as an official standard breed. Since then, although having French roots, the St. Bernard's has been regarded as Switzerland's national dog. The stud book was created to provide breeders the opportunity to fix problems they discovered in working dogs. They may correct these flaws and enhance the breeds by mating them with other working dog breeds. Number 17. This breed has not always been called the St. Bernard's. The name by which this breed is now known is the St. Bernard's and this name comes from the monks of the St. Bernard's Monastery from the hospice at the St. Bernard's Great Pass who kept the dogs for rescue missions in the Alps. However, they were not known by this name until around the middle of the 19th century. The name of the dogs, the Hospice, the Great Pass and the Little Pass are all named after an 11th century monk called Bernards of Menthon who established the stations. Prior to this, the breed was known by many other names, including Saint Dogs, the Alpamastiff, Berry Dogs, and Noble Steeds. The name Saint Bernard is now sometimes abbreviated to Saint Bernards. Number 16. There are many related breeds. The St. Bernard's possesses many potent and admirable qualities. It is robust, substantial, devoted, obedient, intellectual, and a terrific friend. Because of this, it has been bred in various ways to produce new dog breeds that will inherit some of the St. Bernard's positive traits. There are remarkable similarities because it has ancestors with several breeds. There are many similarities between these breeds because the Alpine Mastiff is related to both the English Mastiff and the St. Bernard's. The four Senenhund breeds, Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, Bernese Mountain Dog, Appenzeller, and Entelbucher Mountain Dog, are other canines that resemble the St. Bernard's. They share a similar appearance and are native to the same continent. These four breeds are tricolor, in contrast to St. Bernard's dogs, who are red and white. Number 15. St. Bernard's are classified as a giant breed. Dogs are divided into different size groups. A St. Bernard is categorized as a gigantic dog breed because it is one of the biggest dog breeds. The normal healthy adult will stand between 28 and 35 inches tall at the withers. The typical weight range for a St. Bernard is between 140 and 260 pounds. This breed comes in both long and short hair varieties. The fact that this breed's life expectancy is a subject of some discussion is another intriguing aspect. While breed groups in the UK and the US claim that a St. Bernard lives an average of 8 to 10 years, several breed studies estimate that a St. Bernard can live anywhere from 7 to 13 years. Number 14. Various kennel clubs categorize this breed differently. 
Dogs are divided into numerous groups by kennel clubs all around the world using a variety of criteria. Not all kennel clubs have the same groupings or use the same names for similar divisions. Because of this, the St. Bernard belongs to various clubs, depending on which one they are registered with. For instance, the kennel clubs of the United States, the UK, and Canada accept the St. Bernards as a member of the Working Dog Group. It belongs to the Australian National Kennel Councils and the New Zealand Kennel Clubs Utility Group. The St. Bernards is categorized as a breed in the Guardian Dog Group by the United Kennel Club of the United States. Number 13. Moscow Watchdogs are crossbred from St. Bernards. The Moscow Watchdog is an intriguing crossbreed created from St. Bernards. By breeding the St. Bernards with the Caucasian of Charkas, often known as the Caucasian Shepherd, army kennels in Russia produced these. It's thought that the Moscow Watchdog was developed from a number of different spotted hound breeds. This breed shares the St. Bernard size and appearance, but it also exhibits a variety of additional characteristics from the other breeds that were utilized to create it, like aggressiveness and alertness. This breed is still in use in Russia as service dogs for the armed forces. Only 27 of this dog breed are registered in the United States, making it a somewhat uncommon breed. Number 12. St. Bernards were once used as mountain rescue dogs. St. Bernards were formerly used mostly as mountain rescue dogs in the workplace. They were originally farm dogs, but the monks who maintained them noticed they had a keen sense of smell and would make excellent search and rescue dogs. Oddly, the monks didn't teach them how to accomplish this. The younger pups merely mimicked the senior canine's behavior to learn the role. Despite the hospice remaining open until 2004, St. Bernards no longer participate in mountain rescue operations. Their last mountain search and rescue mission took place in 1955. St. Bernards are now frequently kept as devoted family pets. Some dogs do, however, participate in performing groups that highlight the abilities of this breed. Number 11. Several St. Bernards have broken records for their size. Even though the St. Bernard is renowned for being a large dog, there are certain instances of particular St. Bernards who have far beyond the breed's usual standards for height and weight. When St. Bernards first arrived in England in the middle of the 19th century, Mastiffs were crossed with St. Bernards to create a larger dog, which may account for this rise in size. At that time, Plinleman, who had a height of 34 and a half inches and a weight of 210 pounds, was the most well-known of these enormous canines. He was sold to an American for $7,000. Benedictine V. Schwarzwald Hoff, a St. Bernard, earned a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records in 1981. This enormous dog, from Pearson, Michigan, weighed 315 pounds. There are other claims of a dog that was 8 feet and 6 inches long, according to an 1895 New York Times article. If this rumor is accurate, Major F, a St. Bernard, would be the world's longest canine. Number 10. It is known as a calm and patient dog. Each dog has a unique collection of traits. The majority of these are advantageous in the case of St. Bernard's. It has come to be connected with character attributes like tenderness, loyalty, and patience. Given the breed's huge stature, this can appear unexpected. Because the biggest harm they pose is toppling a young child, these characteristics make them perfect for keeping as family pets. Although these dogs are friendly, it is still crucial to socialize them with kids and in a variety of social situations from a young age. The importance of early training is very crucial. Number 9. There are some health problems to which this breed is prone. The majority of dog breeds are predisposed to particular health issues. This unquestionably holds true for St. Bernard dogs as there are a number of health issues that are more common in this breed. The degradation of bones, one of the main health issues with this breed, is brought on by their quick pace of growth. The best method to prevent this health issue in a St. Bernard is to ensure that it eats a balanced diet and gets lots of exercise. Hip dysplasia elbow dysplasia, and bone cancer are further skeletal disorders. Ectropian and entropian, two eye diseases, can also affect St. Bernard's. Both ailments cause the dog's eyelids to turn inside out. The St. Bernard is also susceptible to dilated cardiomyopathy, eczema, convulsions, and epilepsy. Polyneuropathy is a different ailment associated with this breed that has spurred numerous academic studies. Number 8. 
A Saint Bernard was the star of Beethoven. There are numerous instances of Saint Bernards appearing in the media, but Beethoven is among the best because this breed of dog performed the lead role. In this 1992 family comedy, a huge but rambunctious Saint Bernard named Beethoven is adopted by a family. The film was co-written by John Hughes and Amy Holden Jones and directed by Brian Levant. Charles Grodin, Bonnie Hunt, Dean Jones, Oliver Platt, and Stanley Tucci were among its cast members. The movie had a successful box office run, earning $147.2 million against a $18 million budget. Additionally, it earned favorable reviews from critics and won the 1993 Genesis Award for Best Feature Film. Number 7. In Beethoven's second, there were over 100 St. Bernard's puppies used. Because Beethoven was such a hit with families, there have been five sequels and three standalone movies using the Beethoven brand. Beethoven Second, the first of the sequels, was published in 1993. Len Blum wrote this while Rod Daniel was in charge of the direction. Along with Charles Grodin and Bonnie Hunt from the original movie, Debbie Mazar and Chris Penn also starred. In this movie, Beethoven finds love and has a litter of puppies born to him. Over 100 St. Bernard's puppies were utilized in the production of this movie, which is an intriguing fact. The production and filming couldn't keep up with the growing of the puppies since St. Bernard puppies grow so quickly. As a result, they required regular replacements to complete the movie. This sequel again did well, it brought in $118,243,066 from a $15 million budget. Number 6. The St. Bernard's Neck Barrel is a Myth. St. Bernards are frequently thought of as dogs that carry a neck barrel of brandy. This is a total myth as St. Bernards have never been known to wear a neck barrel filled with brandy. None of the St. Bernard dogs they have used for mountain search and rescue missions have ever worn a neck barrel filled with brandy, according to the monks from the hospice at the St. Bernard's Great Pass. There is, however, a notion as to how this tale was started. A notable work of art by Edwin Landseer dates back to 1820. The image is labeled Alpine Mastiffs reanimating a distressed traveler and includes a Saint Bernard wearing a neck barrel. Charles Landseer's 1831 engraving of this subsequently became well known. The myth is thought to have originated with this representation of the breed. In fact, it is now common knowledge that Saint Bernards are the most intoxicated breeds of dogs, and countless comic comics have depicted this trait in action. The monks have acknowledged that the only reason they placed their Saint Bernards in neck barrels was to amuse visitors. Number 5. Barry was the most legendary St. Bernard's rescue dog. As was already said, mountain rescue dogs are the function with which St. Bernard's are most frequently connected. Although numerous dogs of this breed performed this function, Barry was the most well-known of them. Barry Dermestjenretter was his full name, yet most people just call him Barry. This dog is credited with saving more than 40 people during his lifespan from the dangerous Alps. According to one tradition, this dog discovered a small kid trapped in the snow and carried him to safety after convincing the boy to climb on his back. Another urban legend claims that Barry perished while attempting to save a traveler. This is a complete myth, though. Actually, he was living a happy retirement in Bern, Switzerland. He was preserved after passing away and his body was donated to the Natural History Museum of Bern. Since his passing, the hospice has always had a dog there named Barry. The hospice's breeding dogs were taken care of by the Foundation Barry du Grand Saint Bernard, which was created in 2004. Number 4. A Saint Bernard called Bams was honored for his World War II efforts. Supporting the troops during World War II was another duty performed by St. Bernard's. Bams was one of the most well-known dogs to play such a part. He was regarded as a hero and his name is Norwegian for Teddy Bear. In addition to being named the official Allied Forces mascot by the PDSA, he became the mascot of the Free Norwegian Forces during World War II. He was purchased by Captain Erling Hafto in Oslo, and from a very young age, he was sent to sea. Thorod was the name of the ship he was traveling in. Bams started his military service when this ship was enlisted by the Royal Norwegian Navy at the start of the Second World War. He not only helped his crew's morale, but he was also well-liked by the general populace. Gathering the sailors and escorting them back to the ship was one of his chief ires when the ship was parked in Scotland. He frequently took the bus alone back to the ship. Bams passed away from heart failure in 1944 at Montrose's dockside. Numerous military personnel attended his funeral, which was followed by his burial with full military honors. 
He received numerous posthumous honors, and every 10 years, a ceremony is still held in his memory. Number 3. They drool. A lot. One problem with St. Bernard's is that they drool a lot and anyone who has ever owned a dog of this breed will agree. There are actually medical reasons for this drooling. Not only does the St. Bernard have a large head, it is also an unusual shape for a dog and this is one of the main reasons why they drool. Furthermore, the shape of their jaw, their loose lips and the skin that hangs down around their mouths means that they produce much more drool than many other breeds of dog. There are many other factors that can contribute to the amount of drool they produce. Excitation, hunger, and hyperthermia are a few of these. These are things to keep in mind if you own a St. Bernard in order to stop your dog from drooling. Carrying a drooling rag around with them to wipe away some of the saliva is one method St. Bernard owners get around this issue. Number 2. St. Bernards are popular with celebrities. Many famous people have owned St. Bernards as pets and are major lovers of the breed. St. Bernard named Schnorbitz was a pet owned by British comedian Bernie Winters. Throughout the latter years of his career, the dog performed on stage with Winters. Salman Khan, an Indian actor known for his films, adores dogs and owns a St. Bernard named Saint. Moglai, a retriever, and my love, a Napoleon Mastiff are among his other pets. Mycin, Mijin, and Veer are the names of three French Mastiffs he has also owned. Actress Anna Kendrick, who also adores St. Bernard's, has shared photos of herself and her dog on social media. Number 1. They help Napoleon. There are numerous instances in which St. Bernard's have made an important contribution to history. The tale of how they supported Napoleon is among the most captivating. Napoleon and his army had to traverse an Alps mountain pass between 1790 and 1810. A crew of devoted St. Bernard's dogs helped them with this task. Napoleon and his troops were able to cross through the mountain pass without losing any lives mostly due to the support and help from these obedient animals. That's all 20 facts about St. Bernard's. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.